Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back from here bringing another NBA 2K22 video and today's video, a big trade just went down as Karis LeVert is headed to Cleveland and Ricky Rubio, who is headed to Indiana. Ricky Rubio pretty much isn't going to play this year. He is out for the season. He tore his ACL or something. I can't really remember, but he is out for the season. While they also did get a lottery protective first round pick from the Cleveland Cavaliers, which it's not really going to be lottery protected since they did go out and um, they are going to be in the... Um, they are going to be in the playoffs so the pick is going to be indiana's and they also got like the rocket second and i believe two more seconds i don't remember who but we did put the trade through and y'all can see right here we gave them two seconds in the lottery protected first and uh ricky reveal for karis levert so this is a good trade for cleveland because cleveland is trying to win now and i do, i do feel bad for ricky rubio because that dude's been traded around he's like he just gets thrown around like He's just a bag of garbage or something, man. Ricky Rubio is an all right player, man. He's not too bad. But um, they do want to start Karis LeVert for this video, and I'm not too sure about it. But if you're in the channel, guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And um, let's hop into this rebuild. It's not even a rebuild. Let's see if the Cavs can win a championship with Karis LeVert at helm. And um, they were starting uh, Isaac Okoro. And uh, they do start Laurie Marketing at small forward. I do know that. And I don't I think we'll roll with how this is. Like, Karis LeVert's cool, but I think I want to start Isaac Okoro at small forward just to get, um, just to get, um, what do you call it? Just to get him more playing time to get better. I couldn't speak at the moment, but I just thought I want to do it. I do like this, how this team is. I know care I know Colin Sexton is out for the season as well, but I just want to get, like, how this team would be if they were fully healthy. So, um evan mobley like i kind of want to give these players more minutes i'll give 17 here 20 here like colin section should be starting but this team is just so stacked like we'll give 30 to you 30 to you and i kind of want to give jared 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 allen more minutes so it's going to be darius garland karis lavert isaac Coro, evan mobley and jared allen the starting five that's a deadly starting five i'm pretty sure karis will come off the bench for the cleveland cavaliers but for this video he's going to start for us and then we have Kevin Love, Sexton, Seti Osman, and Laurie Marketing with even Rondo. Even uh, Lamar Stevenson is playing well. And uh, I do like this Wade kid, Dean Wade, I believe his name is. Yeah, I do like Dean Wade. But let's see the season, man. See if we can go out and win a chip with this team. May 10 of the first season. And this is like why I do not like 2K. Because um, we are we are the 8th seed, which we did make the playoffs, but we're in the playing game. And the Cavs right now, they're like the 4th seed. As, I make, as I'm making this video, they are the 4th seed in the East. And... It just kind of sucks because it doesn't take into account how good the Cavs are really doing. And so we're stuck playing the playing game when we should be literally right here where Brooklyn is playing Miami. We should be playing Miami while um, Brooklyn should be in the playing because Brooklyn's sucking right now. But uh, let's look at the stats before we do anything. It just it just gets kind of frustrating, you know. So we look at the stats, player stats. Darius Garland had 22 points for us, about 8 assists. Shot 40% from the field and 35% from the three-point line. Not too bad. Karis LeVert with 20 points and four assists. We do got to bring him back next year. Colin Sexton had 14. We do got to bring him back this year. He had 14 and two assists. Um, I don't know what, what's in the books for Colin Sexton. Honestly, he could leave them, but he is a restricted free agent, so they could match anything. Jared Allen had 13, 12, and uh, two blocks a game, which is what we expect from him. Evan Mobley did all right. Kevin Love making too much money for this team to average 10 points. Then Isaac Okoro averaged 9 and uh, 3 and 2. And then Laurie making too much money not to do anything either. He is a small forward, which I should have started him at small forward, I guess. I don't know. But we are taking on the Hornets in the first round, who we should get past. So let's simulate the playing game. And we do get past them. So we are playing in the playoffs. Um, so we are playing against the... Uh, we are playing against um, the Bucks, who will probably end up sweeping us. But we can just simulate the round. And we do take a game on them, which is cool, but it just wasn't. This team just isn't, uh, in real life, this team could compete with anyone, I believe, but on the game, 2K is just saying we're not ready to compete. Like, this team isn't ready to compete. We don't have, like, that go-to, like, on this game, I don't really think they have a go-to score. In real life, they don't have a need to go-to score because they play team ball. I haven't really watched much Cavs games either, so it is what it is. Sure, we don't have a draft pick, but I do want to trade. Um, I do want to make some trades if possible. Like we tried this six year out and it didn't work. So now let's see what we can do with 2K. So if you go to trades, I'm not trading Jared Allen. I do want to get rid of Kevin Love's massive contract. Like I know I got an attach a first or something, but 
let's see what we can get for Kevin Love. Um, I'm these aren't realistic trades either, man. I'm trying to win now with this team. Um, I could see a Derek White fitting this team really well. Like he is another shooting guard, but he is like that defensive presence. His three balls just hasn't been falling though, sadly. Like he averaged, um, kind of sucks because last year for us he averaged 15, and then this year he took a step. But what do they have his three point rating as? It's like a 70, right? 72. Like his three just went down so bad, but his perimeter defense is so good. Like 83 perimeter defense, 66 block for a guard, and then lateral quickness 82. I do see Chris Milton here. Like that would be cool, and you get the 24th, but they want Lamar Stevens too. I mean, Chris Milton would help this team, like as of right now, but we're trying to build young. I just don't really see anything. What if I throw in, what if I throw in like, I really guess this guy, cause he makes more money, Dylan Windler, Weidler. Like a Gary Trent is also a very nice pickup as well. He's only 23. Like I know these trades aren't realistic, like I said before, but Gary Trent, Clay Thompson. It's like Clay Thompson is just like uh, I'm gonna take Clay, and then I'm gonna see what we can get for Clay Thompson, because Clay Thompson brings way more value, and honestly, cares if I could take that bench roll if we can't get anything really for Clay. We can get C.J. McCollum, um, Christian Wood, Terry Rozier. He makes a lot of money as well. Um. OJ Anobi fits the timeline too, but I think I want to get Gary Trent Jr. I think if I can get both of them, Gary Trent Jr. and him, that, that's just a steal. And they want a 2026 unprotected first as well. And I'm not, I don't really want to give up all these first round picks. But Cleveland is trying to win now. I'll give them a, a plethora of seconds. They want this 2023 unprotected. No, thank you. Y'all can y'all can literally keep all y'all all y'all's picks, man. Just take all these seconds and would y'all take an exception? So it looks like we can't get both of these guys, sadly, which would have been amazing. But I mean, we could get both if we throw them another first. I just don't want to, man. Like. And they agree to it. So we kind of had to. I really didn't want to. But this team is a lot better than it was before. So let's go to team player options. Like we just have so much depth on this team now that everyone is really expandable. We'll bring both these guys back just to like trade them. Qualifying offers. Colin Sexton, yes. I probably will look to move Colin Sexton. Like we'll bring him back and give him a big contract just to move him. And we will be bringing Colin Sexton back. Ricky Rubio's trade exception is only 400k. I thought it was more. Uh, watch, well, they're going to give him the one-year deal, which is going to make me mad. See, uh, I hate how they do the one-year deals, man. We don't even have any cap space, so let's just go to player progression. And let me know what y'all thoughts is on this trade, too, with the Cleveland Cavaliers. I just hit my mic. But let me know what y'all think. Everyone knows the Cavs won the trade, man. But what is y'all's take? Y'all think this is a really good trade and all right trade? Dang, Evan Moby went up five overalls. We're about to win the finals now, man. Jared Allen went up to 88, 85, 89. This team just progressed like really, really good, man. Um, Yeah, man. I just want to know what y'all's take was on the trade. Like, I thought the trade was like really good for the Cavs to go out and try to win now. Yeah, they still got to go through uh, Giannis. They got to go through Joel Embiid. But, I mean, the team's not bad, man. Like, you can put... Like, you could put, like, an Evan Mobley on Giannis. I'm not saying he's going to lock him down or anything, but he's, like, a, well, he's seven foot with, like, a 7'5 wingspan or something, or 6'11 with a 7'5 wingspan. Like, Evan Mobley ain't no slouch, man. And then Jared Allen's a really good rim protector as well. So, let's look at how they have the roster for us as we get into this. So, it's Darius Garland, Isaac Okoro, Ojin Anobi, Jared, uh, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen with Sexton off the bench, Levert off the bench, Gary Trent. We have so many shooting guards off the bench. So we kind of need to go get us a point guard. So I, that's what I kind of want to trade um, Colin Sexton for as a point guard. But he's not making any money at all. So if I can get like maybe let's go, let's hit the Orlando Magic and um, see if I can get my boy. Um, oh, I, I could get a uh, oh, what's his name? Alex Alex uh, Caruso maybe. I was thinking maybe like, but that's like not even worth it. Cause you know, I was thinking more of like, um, what's that backup point guard's name? 
forgot i forgot who i was gonna talk about man um i was thinking i forgot who it was let's take this trailblazers pick and see if they do it why does he have no trade clause man oh that kind of hurts us honestly that he has no trade clause i do like gary Trent jr a lot though like that's what i'm saying man like gary Trent jr but sadly i might have to trade gary Trent jr just because the dude has a no trade clause and i can get andrew wiggins um i just need a backup point guard and alex caruso was there there was another backup point guard dennis Schroeder. um there's just not really much. Like, I really want to trade Colin Sexton, but he's going to waive some trade clause, which I never gave him because I gave him the big contract, and this is literally all I could get for him. Um, I might do the Horton Tucker. Just, like, that's not worth it. Like, none of these trades are worth it. So, I might just make him the backup point guard for now. And um, he goes up and over as well. So, I mean, that's not the end of the world, I guess. So it's going to be Darius Garland, Isaac Koro, Ojin Anobi, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen with Sexton Levert, Gary Trent Jr. Um, Lori Markin is going. To, I said he also is not getting minutes, but it's all right, man. This team is stacked. We should make the playoffs, and we should be a top five seed. So we made it into the second season, and like I said, we we should get a top five seed. And we did get the first seed in the East, which is really good for us. Colin Sexton got six man of the year, averaging 19 points off the bench. That's what I'm talking about, man. If you want to, if you want to come and win a chip, you gotta sacrifice, and that's what Colin Sexton did. He sacrificed his role to be the backup point guard for the team. And granted, he's a scoring guard, not a, a facilitator, but it is what it is, man. So let's get into this. We didn't get anyone, and let's look at the stats and the season stats and player stats. So Garland had 21 points, eight assists, very very good for him. Sexton had 19. Karis Levert only had 14 points, three assists. Uh, he shot 50% from the field, though, and he shot 35% from the three-point line, which is not bad at all. And then uh, Jared Allen had his double-double as usual. Like, Jared Allen's just a monster, man. I'm a big Jared Allen fan. Evan Mobley went up to 89-89. Like, they're all 90 overalls, man. OJ Anobi, Gary Trent Jr. Like, this team is just stacked. Like, yeah, I know they wouldn't trade Gary Trent Jr. and OJ Anobi to the Cavs, but it, it wasn't realistic, man. Are we really about to lose to the Pistons? No way, man. Come on, they got, dang, they got Kyrie, Polio, whatever his name is, Polio, and then Kate Cunningham, like, how is this an eighth seed? Like, that's crazy. We probably will lose to them in the first round, which kind of sucks. Oh, it's okay. We spent the whole season just to lose in the first round, and the Pistons made it to the finals. That reminds me of a long time ago, I think 2013 or something, 20. 12. I can't remember 2011 some point in that era the Spurs lost they were the first team we lost the Grizzlies sad sad time man sad 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 days but we have one more season we don't even have a first round pick I believe I don't know um let's just head to the NBA draft and see I didn't even check but I don't want to skip over it like sometimes I do so Trey Finder we have the 11th pick from the Warriors which what could I package that 13th pick with and Laurie marketing um Oh, we just gotta start winning man like Amphrey Simmons is at 83 the dude is having a really good year and we do need a backup point guard since we're gonna let Colin Sexton go we'll probably trade him so um oh, I could get Paul George I think I'm gonna take Amphrey Simons Am Am Amphrey Simons so let's do that and he'll be our backup point guard and then we'll just send him to the end of the draft I know we had another pick but Amphrey Simons is pretty good man I do like his game we did have the 29th pick, which we'll just sign this backup center. Team player options, Mobley, Gary Trent decline. We are going to pick up Osmonds. And then this team isn't bad, but it's not up to par. I do really like the team. So bird rights, we do got to bring Darius Garland back. He is restricted though. Um, Karis LeVert, we got to bring back. And then Colin Sexton. I don't know if we can afford Gary Trent Jr. Um, it does kind of suck. But I already used my signings for the day, I guess. So Colin Sexton's coming back. Darius Garland and Karis LeVert. But I guess let's go offer Gary Trent. And see if we can get all of them back. So hopefully we get all these dudes back. And I know it's going to do some glitch on us. So we did get all of them back, though. That's really good. And we don't have anyone else to bring back besides Dean Wade. Which he doesn't even want to come back. So I'm cool with that. 
player progressions like i hope evan Mobley went to a 90 man if he went to a 90 like uh, that's just that's just it man like if evan Mobley's a 90 overall we're set man so let's see what evan Mobley went to and evan oh i just skipped over it no like why does this game got to do that man like, i was just so hyped to see what they went to and like i click on it and the game just doesn't register and so i accidentally click over it auto generics this is the last year anyway so let's go and see um let's see what they went up to man so darius garland is a 90 evan Mobley won't say the same 89 89 85 so now that we have amphrey simons i know he is 82 does he go up at shooting guard at all um no he stays the same so with that being said i do want to see what we can go get for colin sexton real quick like if we can just flip colin sexton like he was six man of the year so he should have some trade value like this team is just very well rounded with all these 80s man if we can just get something for him and this uh first round pick unprotected we should get something for him you know so um Fred Van Vliet and precious like that's not but then what uh that's not bad Mitchell Robinson, backup center, Jeremy Grant, Jamal Murray, De'Aaron Fox. Like, dang, they want to give us all these point guards. I think when I get De'Aaron Fox too much, I think I'm gonna go with Fred Elite and Precious. We do get two for one there, and I know we got Anthony Simons, but this team is just way too stacked, man. Darius Garland is definitely starting over Fred VanVleet. Sorry, Freddie, you can get 27 minutes tonight. You get 31, 30, 30. Like this team is so stacked, man. Like if we don't want to chip. Like, we have Precious being our backup center, and he doesn't even get any playing time. Like, you get Gary Trent, Karis Levert, Simons, Fred Van Vliet. Um, I guess we got to trade uh, Simons now because, I mean, we kind of need a better backup big man, I suppose. Don't get me wrong, man. Like, Simons is a monster, but Fred Van Vliet is better than him right now. And this is the last year, so it's not like we're going to have time to progress him. Tobias Harris. No, I'm not training Gary Trent. We need a center, man. Any kind of centers out there? Center, center. Moses Brown. Is that Julius Randle? Dang, man. Rashawn Holmes. Like, I do see a Clint Capella here who, I mean, Robert Williams. Like, there's just some good backup centers, man. Like, do I go for the higher overall? Do I go for the potential one? Like, 83 overall. What did he average last year? It depends who averaged better stats, I suppose. So, let's see who averaged the better stats. And he averaged 10 and 8 and 2 blocks. 10, 8 and 2 blocks. 12, 10, and a block and a half. And then nine. So Sean Holmes is out. I think we go with Clint Capella. I think we just go with Clint Capella. So now the team is uh, Darius Garland. It's going to be Darius Garland. Everyone gets 30 minutes here. Um, and then Jared Allen gets 33. And then Fred Van Vliet, Clint Capella, Karis LeVert, Gary Trent, and Jalen Johnson coming off the bench. Like, you can't tell me this team isn't ready to win a chip, man. If we lose in the first round to the Detroit Pistons again, man, I, I think I'm about to like delete 2K. We made it into the season yet again, and we are the first seed, which is good for us. Um, no one made any of the things. Anyone make the All NBA team? You would think you would see um, um, like Evan Mobley here, but I guess not, man. So yeah, no defensive team either, and we are the first seed yet again, man. So if we don't win and we lose, it was just a very disappointing year for this team. So if we go back to uh, stats and player stats, we should. Garland had 23 points, 8 assists yet again. Dude's just a beast out there, man. Like, this whole year, he's averaged 20 and at least 8 assists, which isn't bad at all. He's only 6'1". That's impressive. Jared Allen uh, Jared Allen led us with... Um, then it was Jared Allen with 14 points. I can't even talk. 11 rebounds. And then Fred Van Vliet with 14. Like, look how many double-digit points we had. Almost... Almost Gary Trent almost had 10. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. I think that was 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 8 double digit scores and almost 9 with him. But then the rest was just eh. So let's see if we can actually win. Please don't be the Pistons. So it is the Hornets. And are you serious? I thought we were about to lose to the Hornets again. Uh, who's average you what in the playoffs? Garland had 37, Mobley had 20 and 10, Allen had 18 and 15, 17 and 10 for Van Vliet. This team is just crazy, man. Like, this team is really, really crazy. They're not even all averaging that many crazy stats, but they are. Um, I don't want to simulate Simcast. Simulate through game, simulate round, man. And uh, here's the rematch again. Can we please get our revenge on the Pistons? 
and we do and we do go on to win the nba finals man karis lavert coming to the cleveland cavaliers could potentially win them the championship like we did right now i know they're not gonna make all these wild trades as darius carlin is a finals mvp average 26 and 10. darius carlin is going to be really good in this league man but i know they're not going to make uh trades like this where they're going to get oj and Anobi, clint capella gary trent for evan fleet I know they're not going to get all these trades, but Karis LeVert trade is a really nice, solid trade for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He will help them, I think, get out of the first round. Let me know what y'all think about this trade for Karis LeVert, and let me know what else y'all want to see in the future, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.